Hi, I'm Mike Murphy, and welcome to Circuit Breaker, the news roundup from IBM Research. First up, the future of computing is on the horizon. Well, we just wrapped up a big week here at IBM. Last week was our annual Think Conference, where we brought together partners, clients, and IBMers to explore the future of technology. Rounding out the week's keynotes was a talk by IBM Research AI head Sriram Raghavan, IBM Quantum head Jay Gambetta, and IBM Research Science and Technology Director Zyra Nazario about where computing is heading. There were two big areas of focus. The first was realizing the near-term goal of quantum advantage with quantum-centric supercomputers. And the second revolved around a concept of generative computing, where complete systems are built around LLMs to serve them as efficiently as possible. Together, the group sees these two paradigms opening up powerful new ways of working. Next, revolutionizing how data is stored for AI. One of the biggest bottlenecks AI applications face today is how their data is stored. Traditionally, you ingest digital information and then store it in a database. Then you vectorize that information so it can be used by AI models and store it in a new database. And now you're managing two databases with two sets of security clearances and having to figure out what's already been vectorized whenever information is added or removed from a database. I think a team at IBM Research and IBM Storage discuss their wildly different approach, content-aware storage. This lets businesses keep all of their data in its secure location and store the vectorized information in the same place, allowing the data to be instantly called upon when it's needed by an AI application with no security or bottleneck headaches. It's likely that in a few years, we'll be shocked when we remember the data used to be stored in any other way. And finally, crediting that AI model you used. Now, LLMs have already revolutionized how many people work and search the internet. Now, people ask AI to help summarize documents, find pertinent information, or rewrite things more succinctly. But when they present their AI-aided work, there's no mention of any help. Now, reporters, scientists, and researchers all have to cite their sources when presenting. And a group within IBM Research thinks that it shouldn't be any different for AI-generated help. Last week, the group released the AI Attribution Toolkit. It's a first attempt at showing what a voluntary reporting standard might look like. The toolkit makes it easy for users to write an attribution statement that explains exactly how they used AI in their work. For more on the latest innovations from IBM, Make sure you subscribe to our newsletter, Future Forward. Till next time.